Good morning, North Star Second Grade. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. If you remembered, don't worry. Um, and this week we've been talking about parts of speech. Monday we talked about nouns, which are a person, place, or thing. Um, Tuesday we talked about verbs, which are action words. Um, and they show what a noun is doing. Um, yesterday we talked about adjectives, and adjectives are describing words, and they specifically describe nouns and tell um, about a noun so it can tell us how many, what kind, um, what color, all kinds of things about noun. Um, and then today we're going to be talking about adverbs, right? So sometimes um, adverbs and adjectives can be kind of tricky um, because they sound the same, adverb, adjective, um, but we can know the difference between adverbs and adjectives because adverbs describe verbs and adjectives doesn't sound like nouns, but they describe nouns, okay? So that's a good little helpful hint to try and help you remember. Um, so adverbs help describe verbs. So they tell us how someone is doing something, where someone is doing something, or when someone is doing something. So maybe I um, ran quickly, tells me how I was running. Um, maybe I ran outside, outside tells me where I ran. Um, or maybe I ran yesterday, which tells me when I ran. So I have another silly book um, called Dearly, Nearly, and Sincerely. Adverbs tell us when and how, like quickly. Ooh, I, I guessed it. Do your homework now. They often help describe the verbs like patiently plant peas and herbs. Adverbs will frequently end in ly, as in viciously, ultra suspiciously sly. Adverbs add character, sizzle and fizz to your phrase or your sentence, whatever it is. Sharply, my dad said to hand him a razor. Lightly, I asked him, did you see that laser? Frankly, this hot dog just couldn't be better. Sheepishly, Fred found his ruin he found he'd ruined his sweater. If they tell us how, they're an adverb of manner. Like, slowly this summer, my sister got tanner. Or, quietly, sneak up to where she is sunning and give her a squirt from that hose that is running. Frequency adverbs will tell us how often like, seldom have I seen a lovelier coffin. That's not a word we hear very often, but that's a good example of an adverb. Always eat cookies and never eat pine. Sometimes I'm nervous, but usually fine. Adverbs can help in explaining how much, as in this is extremely delightful to touch. Or Johnny is somewhat afraid of the spider, and Mickey has hardly touched his cider. They give us a time, a place, and a number. Like yesterday, over there, I was in slumber. First, I was tired. Then, I was woozy. Next, I began feeling sleepy and snoozy. They modify adverbs. Like, she sang quite nicely. That's tricky. Adverbs can describe adverbs. Or he speaks so swiftly, but very precisely. They modify verbs and adjectives, too. <gasps> like, slowly he ate, and she's really blue. Presently, presently, pleasantly, properly praise. Speedily, sometimes, quite greedily, graze. Curiously, furiously, strikingly strong, helplessly lost, and hopelessly wrong. Adverbs, you'll find, give the adjective zip, as in foolishly frisky and famously hip. Bitterly angry and bitingly cold, brilliantly burgundy and shockingly old. The adjective's good the adjective is good, but the adverb is well. So now that you know, you're able to tell. That well's how you felt, and good was your day. 
So if someone said, did you have, how was your day? It was good. And how did you feel? You felt well. Yes, well is a very deep subject, I'd say. That's a funny pun. Dearly, nearly, insincerely. Daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Truly, deeply, sadly, badly. I tell you these are adverbs gladly. And so are sleekly and uniquely, bravely, boldly, coldly, and meekly. Brightly, slightly, impolitely. You'd say that these are adverbs rightly. So, what is an adverb? Do you know? Wow, that was probably our trickiest one yet, right? Because adverbs can describe three different types of things. Adverbs can describe verbs and tell us more about the verb. They can tell us more about another adverb, or they can tell us more about a noun, or a, not a noun, Ooh, that's wrong. They can tell us more about verbs, um, other adverbs, and adjectives, right? So they can describe three different things. Um, so that makes them kind of tricky, but they give us a couple helpful hints. Um, like that they usually, or a lot of times, end in L-Y. So that's a really good way to find um, adverbs in a word. So um, I'm giving you guys a break today. Um, there's no seesaw assignment. Go outside, do something fun, ride your bike, um, hang out with your family, watch a good movie, anything. Just take a break, have fun, and I will see you tomorrow.